Hello guys, Rush here with a new video. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to uh, show to you guys for a while now. I've had this here on the Redstone Development Foundation for a while, um, but I wasn't able to uh, upload it due to some other reasons. Um, uh, but what I have here is a reprogrammable or programmable combination lock, um, and it's very compact. Uh, what this allows you to do is program a combination into the memory of the combination lock and when you uh, have type in the combination correctly obviously you'll have the doors that open so right now uh, let me just reset everything make sure everything is all good and I'll type in the combination which is extremely co complicated one two three and four you can type the buttons in pretty fast and whoop look there you go doors open um, and when we type in the combination correctly now we can set this to program mode you can only set it to program mode only if the combination is inputted correctly and now we'll uh, put in a co uh, combination such as uh, 4421 and when you click a button you have to wait for the tune before you press another button so okay 4 4 now 2 1 2 and 1 this is a four-bit combination lock, and each button must be filled with de with uh, information or data uh, to have the combination uh, take effect. So, turn program mode off uh, because it was a four-bit combination lock. I put in four um, combinations to open the door. You click reset to reset the combination lock, and now you have now the combination is four, four, two and one and then doors open so now you may be wondering um, okay so how do you what is the uh, how do you make this combination long what goes through my mind when I make something like this well um, I will explain that but uh, first here let me just go into more about how the combination lock operates um, right now to you I say that this is compact because it is compact for what it can do a lot of people um, that aren't very really knowledgeable on a subject may just look at something and consider that it's uh, compact or not compact based on just the size of it well uh, you gotta remember this uh, this combination lock is able to store a combination and it will read it off order sensitively um, so you must push the buttons in the correct order um, for it to operate um, and this is all done through uh, this whole entire thing another thing another thing I forgot to mention is that if you type in the combination incorrectly it will just reset the whole thing so if I do four four two and then three it will just reset and it won't open the combination lock automatically resets uh, so yeah Okay, so this is the whole combination lock, and um, how it works is it is stores uh, the combination that you inputted, and that is what this top part is right here. This is the memory of the combination lock. Um, when you input a combination lock, it goes through here, and it saves in here. Like, the combination was 4, 4, 2, 1, right? So we have 4, 4 right here, and then 2 would be back there, right there, and then 1 would be the very end here. This is all the information that is uh, getting stored in the combination lock. I'm actually going to turn my render distance to normal so I can get a bit better frames per second. Um, now, it's order sensitive, right? So, uh, how it works is when you go, when the um, a pulse is sent through here, it goes through all the torches, redstone torches that are on the bottom. I'm pointing at them with my cursor right there and oops and every time that it goes through it if there's a block on top it will turn off the redstone uh, block right here so if I push 4 right here it will go turn off this um, torch right here and it will uh, cause this redstone line to turn off and when this redstone line turns off it goes through an RS snore uh, array and it will drop this block right here and then it will go in order throughout the whole entire uh, combination lock so what happens if I pushed like um, uh, two or three as the first combination or button? Remember the combination is four four two one that I set. So what happens if I were to press three? Well, because there aren't any blocks on this um, on any of these um, 
torches right here. If uh, I were to run a redstone through this, it would not turn off the redstone and cause nothing uh, to happen. It would reset, and I'll get on to that in a bit. But what happens if I put pushed four, then uh, two? It um, what happens is because um, this is an RS nor array each of these blocks must get turned off in sequence or else the whole thing will not work and as an example here let me reset this reset this just resets the RS nor um, array so as you can see all of this is reset so if I were to hit this one and then I were to click 2 which is back there that's 2 right there nothing would happen because this block needs to drop before this block drops um, so what happens is actually uh, on these golden lines down here there's redstone under that and that goes through uh, this line right here and that will eventually and that will reset the combination lock which is this golden block right here this resets the combination lock by clicking that button now if we put in the combination correctly that will cause this line right here back here to go off and then as you can see this piston will pulse very quickly what that does is it send a, sends a quick pulse to this line right here causing this piston to go down which will not allow um, the redstone to reset the combination lock so that is how that works and I actually will um, set it to noon there you go that should be better and uh, yeah so that's how that works now um, how do I reprogram the combination lock um, it's very it's I'm not gonna get into too much on how that works but basically when the the output is right here um, this goes into your door or whatever which is over there and now basically what happens is it goes through like a sort of an AND gate and then uh, which tells the system that only um, only allow the combination lock to be reprogrammed if um, the combination lock is inputted uh, correctly and then uh, this is a little bit more advanced more complicated to explain but uh, for those of you who are a little bit more advanced with re uh, redstone uh, we have the memory up here memory RAM it would be called memory in this case though uh, which is all of this and then we have a shift register here that will save each of the lines down here and then it goes into a torch which will bring down the piston uh, right here to a level where it can be decoded and interpreted into like uh, if it's the correct or incorrect combination lock or combination so that is how my reprogrammable combination lock works um, can you make a smaller design can you make a better design uh, that's my challenge to you guys uh, so thanks for watching, be sure to check out my other videos, and to subscribe. I'm not sure if I'll make a tutorial on this one, because it's a little bit more complicated, and uh, there isn't really much use for this in survival. Maybe for like some sort of memory game, if you uh, play creatively and mess around with redstone. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.